Hey guys, James in Vegas here, and this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, this one is going to be an unboxing and kind of an initial review of, or initial impressions of a torch lighter that I ordered off of Amazon. Uh, if you don't know, I do smoke cigars once in a while, and I've been looking for a really nice uh, torch lighter for my cigars. And this one I found on Amazon, and I'm also going to leave a link for you if you're interested. You can also purchase it from my Amazon affiliate link. I do get a little bit of a commission if you do, but uh, definitely take a look if you do uh, smoke cigars or if you just want to have a pretty decent lighter. This one tends to be pretty good, so I've already used it a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and go through the unboxing. It is, I guess, a La Fouli. Uh, I got the gunmetal gray version. So let's go ahead and open this up and uh, take a look. It's a beautiful orange box, honestly. Uh, I tend to decorate uh, in a mid-century modern here in my apartment. And uh, this orange, I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice box, you know if you like that sort of thing i particularly do uh but this is this is a nice little color nice uh, small box very sturdy let's go ahead and see what's under okay so it looks packed well a nice little foam cover we've got some instruction manuals here which if you're not familiar with torch lighters, you just need to make sure that every time you use them, you purge them, uh, purge all the air and all the gas out of it. Otherwise it'll just lock up on you and you may not be able to fill it and you may not be able to uh, light. It'll just continue to go out. So the lighter itself, very heavy, you know, uh, wrapped in a cellophane, almost like a cigar. We also have another <coughs> key. This is the, the key that is used to adjust the flame height. But I mean, realistically, you can fit anything in there. You can use your thumbnail if you have a long nail, you can use your um, a knife or whatever. This will probably act as a purge as well. I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside and let's open up the lighter itself. Now the lighter is interesting because it actually has a cigar stand built into it. But this is beautiful. I mean, this is, gunmetal gray and you can see the logo there there is a fuel window and like I said I have already uh, used this uh, several times so I know it's, it's very good but let's go ahead and go through you flip the top up it's a single flame single torch this is your igniter switch you can actually put a cigar right on top of there like so I mean uh, I have my camera mounted on a uh, stand right now so I'm not going to move it around too much so but you get the idea um, it stands up there this particular lighter measures let's see here almost four and three quarters so it looks like uh, one two three four five five eighths no wait one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, uh, four and five eighths of an inch tall and uh, just about an inch, oops, just about an inch and uh, a sixteenth. So we'll just call it an inch almost diameter, but it's not a perfect, perfect circle. It's kind of square on the sides. On the bottom here, you can see this unscrews, and this is used as a cigar stand as well. So that'll hold your cigar up. In here is a poker. So this is held within with magnets, and this is a uh, poker, or a, I think it's also called an auger. Basically, if you have a hard draw, you can insert this in 
and there's little notches here that will actually remove some of the tobacco or if there's a stem lodged up in there and it'll remove it and it'll open it up and it'll give you a better draw. And like I said, these have two magnets and it holds it in place here, which happens to be on the screws. And this is the fill port. It's a standard fill port. Any butane fuel canister will fit in there. I've already used it, like I said. So let me go ahead and put this together and show you the flame. Now I'm indoors, so I'm not gonna light up a cigar, but you'll get the general idea. And it does show pretty well on my, on my cutting board there, so. This is the size that I like. Uh, it gives you about, probably about a two and a half inch, three inch flame. Probably about a two inch blue flame, maybe inch and a three quarters of blue flame. Then about a half inch of orange. And then of course the heat's way out there. Uh, but this is a solid lighter. I mean, this is hefty. Uh, let me grab my scale and see how heavy this actually is. All right, so let's get my scale in here this up a little bit honestly I don't use this uh, I just use uh, like I said I have a, a dog tag that I use I have a thumbnail I have a knife that I use so let's go ahead and put that all back and let's get what see how much this weighs all right so it is zeroed 194 grams. Let's put it here again. It's rocking on me here. Okay, 195, 194 grams. And six, 6 6.84 ounces. It's a pretty solid. You know, it's it's a pretty solid unit here, 194 grams. Um, it feels really hot, solid in your hand. Very hefty, uh, very nice. Definitely recommend it. I, I can't remember the price. I'll put the price in the link below or in the description below with the link. So if you are interested in, interested in it, uh, feel free to click on it. I'll get a little bit of a commission, like I said, but uh, I also have, if you check the other links underneath, you'll see links from my other videos as well. Um, but definitely take a look if you're interested in a nice torch cigar lighter. Uh, La Fouli. Pretty solid. Pretty happy with it. It's a little big to carry every day. Um, but I use a Zippo as well. Uh, but I, I kind of prefer this just because it has the stand and the poker all into one. And it's got a big tank. So, you know, it, it lasts for a long time. But again, guys, thanks for watching. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Um, take a look at the link itself. See if you're interested in the product. And be sure to like and subscribe to this video. I appreciate all your viewers. And uh, thanks again for watching.